Michael and Trevor Tola here from Solution Systems, and today I want to talk a little bit about the uh, new commerce experience that Microsoft is rolling out that will be replacing the current CSP experience. So uh, I had the privilege of sitting in on a call recently, took some notes, and I figured why not? I'd share them with everybody. So here we go. First up, hot takes. General availability is January 2022. CSP partners will be able to continue transacting on the legacy CSP experience until March 2022. October 14th is the technical release, and there is promotional discounting pricing planned to launch in January for monthly and annual term offers in the NCE. Keep those words in mind. In, in mind, uh, monthly and annual terms. We're going to be talking about those a little bit more later on as we get through these notes. Uh, with regards to promotional pricing, that's all Microsoft is saying right now, but uh, more details will be available soon. So let's start with what's not changing. Well, you're going to be able to continue to purchase license-based services in the traditional way. Uh, you'll be able to continue to manage legacy subscriptions in the same way. Invoices for legacy offers will still arrive on your selected date. Customers will be created the same way. That's a good one. Requesting relationships will be done the same way. Also a good one. Managing referrals, membership, or incentives will not change. And last but not least, purchasing and managed scenarios will be the same for software subscriptions, perpetual software, Azure plan, and marketplace offers. So it sounds like a lot of the stuff is kind of staying the same. Uh, you know, the rollout's not happening for a couple more months, so I'm sure a lot, a lot more information will be out. But there are some things that are that are changing that we know of right now. And one of the main things is subscriptions when it refers to trial subscriptions and paid subscriptions. So let's get into that. Trials will be set to auto renew by default and will renew into a like to like offer if auto renew is not unselected. This means you've got a prospect using Business Central, let's say, and uh, you sign them up for a trial offer. When you sign that, that prospect up for a trial offer, they're going to get 25 free users for the month and there is a box now that is check marked with auto renew and it's check marked automatically so what happens is when this trial expires at the end of the month microsoft will automatically convert that trial experience with 25 users into a like-to-like -like offer so what you need to remember to do if the customer is is, is if the prospect is not okay with having the trial automatically convert to a paid paid plan is you need to remember to uncheck auto renew in the beginning when you sign up for the trial offer. Subscriptions. Price list will be available on October 14th. Uh, the price list sheet, which is the Excel sheet you can currently download uh, under the sales tab in the current CSP experience. It's the one that has like 10 or 15 different columns, shows all the prices and, and whatnot of, of all the products. Uh, there's actually going to be some more columns added to it. And some of these columns are going to include the product ID, the SKU ID, term duration, and, and a few others. Seat counts can increase at any time of the subscription term in the NSC, but they can only be decreased within a 72 hours after the initial order or renewal date. So what does this mean? This means that once you purchase your, your, your users, let's say you purchase five, you have 72 hours to cancel this purchase. Otherwise, you have to pay for those users for the remainder of your, your term. So that could be a month, it could be a year, it could be 36 months, whatever your term is, if you do not cancel those users within the first 72 hours. Big change from what it is now. Right now, you can, you can add or you can increase or decrease the amount of users whenever you want throughout the entire month. Microsoft just simply prorates it. And it's pretty simple and works out. So let's see. For customers that have variable seasonal seat needs over the course of the year, one option would indeed be to sell a combination of monthly term and annual term seats to that customer so that monthly term seats could be canceled as needed to reflect the changes in seat requirements. So this is good for, let's say, uh, you have five users that you've purchased for uh, the annual term. So you have to pay for those five users for the entire year. 
But if your your business gets a lot more busy during, let's say, the winter months, you can purchase five users or however many users you want on a month to month trial. I'm sorry, month to month term. So uh, it's definitely something to keep in mind, especially if your business sees fluctuations with with uh, um, business. Here's one of the questions that I thought was definitely interesting. Well, not interesting, but definitely important for everybody to know. And it is, uh, will a customer have to sign a new agreement when they move from legacy CSP to NCE? The answer is no. If they already signed the Microsoft Cloud Agreement in the CSP experience, and when they move to the new commerce experience, they will not have to re-sign the agreement. Monthly term subscriptions in the NCE will be priced at a premium compared to annual term subscriptions. So this is different now from what from what it is now. Uh, this means that a one month subscription will be twenty percent more expensive than an annual or thirty six month subscription. Customers will be able to uh, combine annual and monthly term subscriptions for the same service. Kind of what we talked about before with adding you know users during peak times for your business and and, and removing them when the, your business isn't as busy. Uh, Monthly term subscriptions can be changed to annual term subscriptions. So uh, you got a prospect, they sign on to Business Central, but they're not they're not too sure if it's it's really for them. You know, they went and they did the trial for a month. They want to continue using it for the next four or five, six months, however long it may be. For them, they should pay the 20 percent more uh, price and, and use Business Central from month to month to month. And once they become sure that this product is for them. They can switch to the annual subscription and save 20%, but get locked into the annual uh, annual term. When either a legacy or NCE subscription renews, it will always renew at the pricing in effect at the time of renewal. No different than what it is now. Uh, let's use Business Central as, as an example again. You sign up for Business Central for an annual term, 12 months. Uh, when you signed up, you paid $100 per user for five users. So you're paying $500 a month, essentially. You paid that for the entire year. When you go to re-sign up for your next your next term, Business Central users went from $100 to, let's say, $110. You now have to pay $50 more per month for the uh, your annual subscription. A partner can have legacy and NCE subscriptions for clients in effect at the same time. Partners will be billed for both separately. Uh, Increasing and reducing C counts on a subscription in the middle of the term is possible like we talked about before. In new commerce, the partner is responsible for payment of any outstanding amounts regardless of whether the customer cannot or will not pay for the subscription due to dissolution of the business relationship or commercial disagreement with the partner. Customer financial insolvency, the merger or acquisition of the customer company, or other reasons not directly related to Microsoft's ability to provide the services. So what does this mean? This means, let's just say, uh, well, first of all, let's start by saying you have to remember that cancellation is only allowed in the new commerce experience within the first 72 hours of the subscription term, uh, either a new order or with a renewal order. The partner will be billed for the remainder of the term if the subscription is not canceled within the initial 72 hour window. This applies to all term types in new commerce, whether that's monthly, annual, or, or three year. So for example, you've got, you've got a new customer who signs on for Business Central for uh, five users, premium users at $100 a piece, so $500 a month essentially, and they 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 signed on for the annual term. After three months, they decide Business Central is not for us, and that they are not going to pay for Business Central anymore. Well, as a partner, if you don't collect that money up front, or I guess do your due diligence and perform credit credit worthiness checks on, on customers and prospects or whatnot. You're on the hook for the remainder of that term, which would be nine months. Microsoft really doesn't care, I guess, that the customer said we're not paying. They they signed the agreement for annual term. They paid three months, they're not paying anymore. 
Now you have to pay the rest of the, of the term, which would be the nine months. Pause cancellation and auto renew are new functionalities in the in the NCE. Pause meaning you can pause a uh, a uh, a customer who who didn't pay. This way they don't lose their data for ninety days, and then you can easily reinstate them when they're ready if they if they pay again. Cancellation meaning cancel the the subscription whenever you want. Auto renew, self explanatory. It, it auto renews. Customers cannot transfer original annual term subscription to the tenant of another CSP partner. This means that uh, if they sign up with you for five users for Business Central and they six months later into the subscription, they want to sign up with a different partner and have that partner collect the money or whatnot, they cannot do that. They're on the hook with you for the, the, the uh, duration of that term. There you have it. Those are some of my notes. Uh, we'll keep you posted as, as we hear more. So talk to everybody later. Thank <laughs> you.